my beautiful lovelies, it's Emmy. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be testing an instant ramen recipe and this apparently is Roy Choi's favorite instant ramen recipe. Now if you don't know Roy Choi, he is the famous proprietor of Koji, which is the food truck in LA that combines great Korean and Mexican cuisines in burritos and tacos. And this apparently is his favorite way to have ramen, instant ramen noodles. So as latchkey kids, my brother and I often had instant ramen as an afternoon snack. If you missed our Mushy Mimi video, I'll put the link down below and up above. But when I saw Roy Choi's recipe, I thought it was very interesting because it contains ingredients that I have never put in my own instant ramen. Sure, he puts an egg. We all put eggs in our instant ramen noodles, right? But then he also puts sliced American cheese and butter, which sounds amazing, but I've never done it myself. So. Let's prepare myself some lunch, Roy Choi style. Okay, also I should mention the recipe that I'm using today was one that I found in the New York Times. And I will put a link down below to that as well. So I've got about two cups of water boiling here. So in the recipe, they don't specify what type of ramen noodle to use. I imagine you could use maruchan, anything that you really like. I'm gonna be using this one. This is a Samyang noodle. It's a Korean type ramen noodle. I've never had this one before. I have a huge pile of instant noodles. So I grabbed this one. I thought Korean would be appropriate for this recipe. As most of you know, I'm also a huge fan of Samyang style noodles. They're nice and chewy. So yeah, place that in there. We're going to cook this for about two minutes. I'm going to add my flavor packets. Ooh, this is some sort of vegetable. And I'm going to add my sauce packet. I think this one is probably eaten kind of dry, but I'm going to have it wet because that's how I want it. All right, so add my sauce packet. Ooh, this is going to be spicy. Yum. Stir that in there. Instant noodles always remind me of my dad. They're sort of his go-to guilty indulgence. <laughs> and he would always put an egg in. As a kid, I never really enjoyed having a poached egg in my ramen noodles, but I've come to appreciate it now because that little extra bit of protein in there totally rounds it out. Okay, let that boil for a little bit. And this smells fantastic. I can smell the chili in there, but I also smell kind of like dried squid. Ah, oh, it smells good. So now the noodles are about maybe 60% cooked. We're gonna turn off the heat. And now we're going to add our egg. So I'm gonna push the noodles to the side a little bit and I'm gonna add one egg. This is one of my chicky doon eggs. We're so pleased. The chickens are now five months old and they are all laying. And my sons take so much joy in checking the nesting boxes for eggs. They actually fight to do it, which is kind of annoying, but it's really, really such a gift to have little fresh eggs. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is crack our egg and we're going to place it into our soup gently. Now we don't wanna mix it. We're gonna take the noodles and carefully cover the egg. The recipe says to do this for one minute. If you like your eggs more cooked, then by all means, heat this up, cook it till it's completely hard. It's really up to you because this is your instant ramen noodle after all. The recipe calls for two slices of American cheese. I'm gonna place these at the bottom of my bowl so they can get all the broth and melt nicely. And now I'm gonna carefully pour my noodles on top. Here's my egg, beautifully poached, butter. I'm gonna combine the cheese and the butter. Look, you can see that the broth is already changing consistency. Rather than being oily and kind of chillied, it's turning more opaque. It almost looks like tonkatsu ramen. Finally, we're going to top it with a pinch of sesame seeds. Yes. And green onions, just the green portion, cut on the bias. Oh yes, look how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness, this looks amazing. Yes, come to mama, let's do this. Oh yes. That's beautiful. Perfectly cooked egg. All right, I can't stand it, let's eat this. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. All right, I'm gonna mix everything in there. Make sure that the cheese is completely melted. Itadakimasu.
Mmm, that is good. Mm. Now I've never had these noodles before, but they're delicious. They have a nice seafoody, dried, shrimpy, dried squid flavor to them. Definitely seafoody. And of course, I've got the great chewy signature Samyang noodles. But I have to say, that little bit of butter and two slices of American cheese in there, ha ha ha, makes this decadent and just scrumptious. Mm. Not only does it give it additional flavor and richness, it gives it a smoother texture and body, almost more like sauce-like, even though this is definitely soup. So smart, I love it. Now I'm gonna have some egg. Mmm, perfectly cooked. This was also a smaller egg, so if your egg is larger, it'd probably be a little bit more time. Am I getting it all over my clothes? Lovely. Ah, all for the sake of you guys. And of course you have the fresh green onions in there, which I am a huge fan of. It brightens things, enlivens things, makes it taste more fresh. And of course it's green, and against the ramen noodles, it's just so stinking beautiful. Yes, make this. Thanks, Roy Choi, for sharing it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Let me know down in the comments if there's a recipe that you'd like me to test out or try. Subscribe, like this video, share it with your buddies and friends. Follow me on social media so you know what I'm, you know, is going on in the world of Emmy. And I shall see you in the next video. Toodaloo, take care, bye! Excuse me while I finish my lunch here. <laughs>